Hi everybody, this is Kurt with AstroQuest1.blogspot.com. I just want to go through a quick run through with using Stellarium to control your equatorial mount. I just started using it. I wish I would have done this a couple of years ago. It really would have saved me a lot of time. Uh, anyways, let's go out to my shed and I'll boot it up and I'll show you what you can do with it. Well, I'm back. I'm in my astronomy shed now and I got my telescope in the background. Let me tell you a couple of reasons why I like using Stellarium to control my uh, telescope so much. First off, in order to uh, do any imaging, and I have to take, I have to slide my roof off, and the roof in the, would nor normally hit my telescope. So I'd either have to take my telescope off, or I'd have to find some low-lying object using the hand controller. Uh, with Stellarium, it makes it so much easier. All I gotta do is just point and click, and the telescope points to some low-lying object. It's really easy to see what's low-lying using Stellarium. The second reason I like it is when I take flats, the telescope has to be horizontal, or vertical, I should say, and I use a uh, light plate, light, light board, and I balance it on the top of the scope. Well, I would ordinarily have to look at use Stellarium to find something that's directly overhead anyways. So now, since it's already connected to the mount, it makes it really easy to find some object. All right, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna uh, show you uh, quickly how to use it uh, on the computer screen. Okay, well, I'm back and I'm on my computer screen right now. Right now. The first thing you're gonna notice is this thing on Stellarium that says Cirrus. That's actually my telescope, and it's in its park position right now, so it's pointing close to Polaris. All I have to do to move it somewhere is just point to an object, let's say M39, and press Control-1, and the telescope is now slewing towards M39 or moving towards M39. And there it is, dead on. If I wanted to go to a different object, I would just repeat the process. Let's come over to this, whatever this is. Control 1. And I'm now moving towards the Iris Nebula. Okay, so that's I can keep doing this. This is really fun to do actually. As I said before, the reason I like this program so much is I can uh, makes it very easy to uh, lower the telescope so I can open my roof and start imaging. And I also like it so I can e easily uh, find an object directly overhead so I can take my flats. There are other benefits for using this thing, which I don't want to get into here. Uh, I know some of you guys are already using this or even some more sophisticated programming like Equatorial Mod, which I may do eventually as well. Thank you very much. Clear skies.